Tech monopolies now exert a level of control over American public opinion that has no precedent in all of history. Eliminating Section 230 or whatever piddling reform Congress is talking about at the moment, it all seems like a joke at this point. It's too late. The medieval church had less command over society's emotions than Facebook and Google and Twitter now do. For the past two years, you have watched these companies, above all, define who you as an American must hate. Depending upon their directive of the day, our citizens dutifully change their social media avatars, from BLM signs to mask up slogans to now Ukrainian flags. Each is a crisis, and each new crisis is carefully stage managed from Silicon Valley at the direction of the White House. How does the human brain compete with this? How does it understand it? Well, it doesn't. Clarity and perspective become impossible. In the hysteria, even the recent past just evaporates. The morning that Russia invaded Ukraine, you may have been talking about a lot of different things, COVID or crime or the southern border. Not anymore. Much to the relief of the White House, all of those topics have been forgotten, maybe forever. No population has ever been more skillfully manipulated than our population is being manipulated right now. 